Hey, how you doing? This is a quick guide on how to fix your MM710. If you have really scuffed clicks like this, where there's a lot of post travel and creaking, I don't know if you can hear it. The clicks feel really bad. They feel mushy. They feel creaky. They just don't feel good. They're really distracting. So I'm going to teach you how to fix that. And also I'm going to show how to fix the wobble. My copy doesn't really have that much wobble, but I'm going to do the fix on that too, just to show you guys. The first thing you have to do is take off the feet and the screws. I already did that. I don't recommend reusing the feet because they're kind of like really thin. When you put, when you reapply them, they're kind of wavy and bad. Just use the spare feet that come in the box. Okay. Anyway, once you do that, you want to crack open the mouse. You lift it from the bottom, and then with your thumb, you push it forward like that. Like so. There you go. And then, the top casing comes right off. We're not going to deal with this. We're only going to focus on this part here, so we can get that out of the way. Now, the first step, we need to take off this back piece right here. Now, there's four clips on the back that you need to take off. This one right here this one down here this one and that one so all you need to do push it with your thumb or your fingernail and then push it oh messed up i need to find a grip here Oui. so you just need to push the clip in and get the shell off Ooh, there we go, I finally got it. Okay. Might take a few tries. I'm looking through the camera instead of actually looking at the mouse. Okay, so these two clips are unhinged. Now we gotta get these two up here. So it's the same thing. Ooh, those come off actually a lot easier. Ooh, and there you go, it's off. Now this is what we're gonna be focusing on, the trigger assembly. Now to take this off, all you need to do is get these two clips right here. And to do that, you want to push the clip towards the middle of the mouse with your thumb, and then with your fingernail, you want to get under this crease and push up. So, like this. Boom, like that. And that one's off. And now the other one. There you go. And now, you got to make sure that you push you gotta slide it forward so you can push the switches off. But anyway, there we go, it's off. We don't have to worry about this piece for now because we're gonna focus on this. Now to fix the post travel, what you wanna do is you wanna use these zip ties right here. I'll put a link in the description. They're TR Industrial uh, four inch zip ties. You just need two of them. Now, we're not actually gonna zip tie anything Instead, we're just gonna use the head of the zip tie for this mod. I'm just gonna use a nail clipper because that's kind of all I have right now. Let's see. You just have to get these pieces off. Boom, like that. Now, there are these holes right here on the front of the mouse. All that matters are these two holes right here. Now, all you need to do is just get the head of the zip tie and stick it on. Boom. Right there in that hole. And that little amount sticking out is enough to stop the post travel and to stop the creaking. So right there like that. And now we just get another zip tie from this bag. And let's do it again. Oh wait, I already got a zip tie here. Whatever. Just quickly cut this off and do it again. Now I recommend leaving a little bit of tongue. And by tongue I mean like the the edge off of this piece just to sort of hold itself on also i recommend using these zip ties specifically because i can't confirm if any other zip tie head will fit properly in these holes right here but anyway once that's done you're ready to reassemble the mouse thingy let's see all you gotta do Make sure those pieces are on. Although, I should mention this. 
you can leave the mod like this, but when you shake the mouse up and down, it's going to rattle a little bit because the zip tie heads are going to shake around a little bit. They won't fall out or anything. The, the mouse uh, buttons hold them down, so they won't fall out in your mouse and start rattling around, but they are going to rattle a little bit if you shake the mouse up and down like crazy. But if you don't want that, you can glue them in place. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to return this mouse <laughs> after this video. But uh, anyway... So you can hear that rattling. Those are the zip ties there. You can glue it in. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, let's quickly put these back on just to compare. Boom. Done. <laughs> and then you just clip it. Make sure it's in right. That's fine. Just push it back in place. And now the clicks are super crispy. There's barely any pre-travel compared to before. Before, the, the mouse one and two, they were touching the plastic beneath. Now, not anymore. So that's that fix. Now, I'm gonna show you how to fix the button wobble. Now for this piece, you can use a zip tie, but I recommend using the little cable tie that came with your mouse that held the USB cable all together. So, you just want to cut this in half. I'm sorry, the phone stopped recording there. Okay, so now for this part, now that you cut your wires already, all you want to do is get these ties through this bar right here. Because there's a the bar on the other side is actually from the frame of the mouse. So when you tie bar from the trigger assembly to the bar from the frame, it'll tighten that spot up really well and it'll stop the wobble. So you just loop, so you just thread that part through that little hole right there and you tighten it up. Now the reason I recommend using cable ties instead of zip ties is because these ties, you know, they're adjustable. If it's too tight, you just loosen it back up. A cable tie, or a zip tie, if you tie it around this and it's too tight, you know, you're gonna have to cut this. You can risk cutting your the frame of your mouse. I don't know. I just recommend using this method. It looks a little more scuffed. It doesn't look as pretty in the pictures, but I mean, this is underneath the mouse. Nobody's gonna see this unless you're, you want people to see it. So anyway, there you go. Let's do that on the other side now. Whoop. Thread that through like that. As you can see right there. Just tighten that up. Now, like I said, my mouse doesn't have wobble. But if it did, this will definitely fix it. You want to make sure it's tight. But if you over tighten it, it'll actually make the clicks difficult to press down. So make sure they're down right. Make sure the clicks still work fine. Let's see if it works fine in the mouse right now. Now this is something you should always be doing. You should be putting it back into the frame just to make sure everything is working fine. Make sure the mouse is clicking. As you can see, I mean, there was barely any wobble to begin with, but if there was wobble, it would be fixed now because of these cable ties. But you see, almost no post travel anymore because of those zip tie heads. And that's pretty much it. You want to take this piece off again. Once you're sure that everything is okay, you want to stick this piece back on. Unless you don't, you know, so I've seen some people on Reddit, they're out here rocking the MM710 without this piece because, I don't know, they want more fingertip action or something. They don't want this big hump. I like the hump, so I'm going to keep it on. Now, this part... 
you can fold it down you can cut it off I'm not sure what I want to do here I think I'm gonna try folding it down and see how that works if it doesn't work I'll just cut it out of the video <laughs> anyway so once those are folded down you want to get this piece stick it back on and you're pretty much done anyway stick these on boom the back piece is going easily then the front Now this part will be a little harder because the zip ties are in there, but with a little bit of pressure, it'll clip in just fine. They still feel fine. Wow, it's actually, it actually feels a little less wobbly now. Anyway, now you just assemble the mouse. Remember, front clips first. Slide the the front in you want this part to be flush with that part that's when you know that the clips are in row there you go it's done you can tell the difference look at that almost no post travel super crispy you can barely tell that the mod was done unless you get a flashlight and look in there but as you can tell if you listen carefully, there is rattle, and those are from the two zip tie heads that we put in the front. You can get rid of that rattle by just gluing down the, the zip tie heads, but I'm gonna return this mouse, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. But, as you can see, very solid. Clicks are super crispy now. like on par with like the ultralight 2 which has like ridiculously good clicks really good really good mod like i said i don't recommend reusing the feet because they're kind of shit they get all wavy when you reapply them use the ones that come in the in the box don't forget these don't throw these out okay <laughs> so thanks for watching i hope i was able to help you fix your mouse goodbye